you Lord Jesus and thank you here we are Jesus in the midst of your presence in the silence in thanksgiving before you for the gifts and for the honor and for the privilege of being all your children. Jesus, we believe. Help our unbelief. Jesus, we love. Help the parts of us that do not love. Jesus, we hope. Please help Jesus hearts within us that do not hope and trust in your love and mercy. Thank you, Jesus, for our lives, our characteristics, people we share our lives with, our workplaces, our schools and colleges, our parish communities, our priests, our clergy, for our faith, Jesus. We thank you and we praise you. You speak to us, Lord. You say to us, welcome, my child. I knew you would come. I have so much to offer you. I have so many gifts in store for you and for those you love. I have the power, the love to make every dream come true. Dreams that bring love, peace and healing to a broken world. Why, my child, should millions go unhealed? and die in needless pain when these hands that touched a leper's skin and made it clean lie here, silent or unused. How I long that my people would come to me and just sit before me. There is so much anger out there in the world so much injustice, so much suffering. And there is one power, one person who can heal you and restore to the world whatever is stolen by Satan. That power is right here. This poor man called the Lord heard him. 
I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise always on my lips. In the Lord my soul shall make its boast. The humble shall hear and be glad. This poor man called the Lord heard him. The Lord turns his face against the wicked to destroy their remembrance from the earth. The just call and the Lord hears and rescues them in all their distress. This poor man called the Lord heard him. The Lord is close to the broken hearted, those whose spirit is crushed, he will save. The Lord ransoms souls of his servants. Those who hide in him shall not be condemned. This poor man called the Lord heard him. Our reading is taken from St. Paul to Timothy. My life is already being poured away as a libation, and the time has come for me to be gone. I have fought the good fight to the end. I have run the race to the finish. I have kept the faith. All there is to come now is the crown of righteousness reserved for me, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give to me on that day. And not only to me, but to all those who have longed for his appearing. The first time I had to present my defense, there was not a single witness to support me. Every one of them deserted me. May they not be held accountable for it. But the Lord stood by me and gave me power so that through me the whole message might be proclaimed for all the pagans to hear. And so I was rescued from the lion's mouth. The Lord will rescue me from all evil attempts on me and bring me safely to his heavenly kingdom. To him be glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord Jesus, we ask you to help us to keep the faith, to run the race right to the very end. Keep us, Jesus, on the straight and narrow path Help us to walk every millimeter with you. Help us, Jesus, to come here before you often, to recharge our batteries. Help us to come, Jesus, so as that you can fill us with your grace, your power, your love, 
fill us with faith, Jesus, for the journey right to the very end. You, Jesus, are our Saviour. You are the one that we must come to every day to be healed of our wounds and our brokenness. Most Holy Eucharist, therefore, be the starting point of our meditations on the mysteries, virtues, and truths of our religion. The Eucharist is the focal point. The truths of religion are the rays. Let us start from the focus and go on to the rays. It is not difficult to find a relation between the birth of Jesus in the stable and his sacramental birth on the altar and in our hearts. Who does not see that the hidden life of Nazareth is continued in the divine host of the tabernacle and that the passion, the passion of the man God on Calvary is renewed in the holy sacrifice at every moment of the day and night and all over the world. Is not our Lord as meek and humble in his sacrament as during his mortal life? Is he not always the Good Shepherd, the Divine Consoler, our bosom friend? Happy is the one who knows how to find Jesus in the Eucharist, and in the Eucharist all things. May you always be the center of everything in our lives, Jesus. For you are the light of the entire world. Shine through 
Longing for light, we wait in darkness. Longing for truth, we turn to you. Make us, O oh Lord, your holy people, light for the world to see. Christ, be our light, shine in our hearts, shine through the Jesus, we pray for your church, all of us here gathered in front of you in the Blessed Sacrament. We thank you, Jesus, for the gift of faith you've given us. And where we are weak, Jesus, we ask you to help our unbelief. We ask you, Jesus, to enter into every home as each family member and help all of us to come more and more before you in the Blessed Sacrament to be renewed for the journey ahead. For all of us, Jesus, we pray, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. Amen. And to Our Lady, we sing this beautiful hymn to you. Our Lady of Knox.
Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh, Guardian Angel. 